Hey guys, my name is Luke and you're watching Aquatic Rehab TV. Um, in this episode we're going to go through um, a little bit about uh, grading underwater footage um, that's been shot in ProTune mode on the new GoPro cameras. Um, at the moment I'm shooting with a Hero 3 Black and basically it has a mode called ProTune which gives us the ability to shoot um, footage um, with a higher dynamic range and the camera just gets more information. For photographers out there, you'll you'll have an idea about RAW versus JPEG. Um, RAW, it's like, comes off the camera really terrible and flat and no contrast or anything, but and no sharpening or, or color correction or anything. But you have a lot more information to play with. So it's essentially the same thing with the ProTune. Um, it's it's kind of like shooting a RAW and it's really, really nice feature. Like from what I've heard, a lot of people um, haven't really got into using it or they're not sure about it. Or, um, I got this idea from um, a tutorial I watched a, a while ago that was done by Round Pictures. Um, they didn't do it with the GoPro, they did it with um, like a really um, a high resolution underwater camera and they were just grading footage. But um, basically the, the GoPros, I think um, for Sparrows, it's, it's, um, it's like the new frontier because now the, the cameras are it's so good and they're not getting in the way of the diving um, yeah they're just awesome so so this tutorial is going to be done in after effects um adobe after effects um basically it's not a tutorial on how to use it it's just what i'm putting on the adjustment layer um, to make uh, footage look better if you don't want to do it you know like you can get the um, sign form um, free software from the GoPro website. So you, you might get a really good result shooting ProTune and then using GoPro software to actually fix your footage up. I'm not too sure. I'm, I really like After Effects, so it's, it's totally up to you guys. So no more time wasting. Um, let's get straight into it. I'm gonna import um, um, some footage into After Effects now. Okay guys, so here we are in After Effects. Um, basically, um, this is the way that it's laid out here. If you want to try After Effects, um, you can go to the Adobe website and just Google Adobe After Effects and um, you can download a 30 day trial to see if you like using it. Um, basically, um, I have my video file here in the green um, and I can skip through and sort of um, check out the footage that I've got. Um, what I'm going to do here is um, go to New Adjustment Layer and put an adjustment layer on top of the video. Um, you can see it here in purple. And what this does, it means I can add my um, uh, all my filters and color adjustments to the layer, and it's a non-destructive form of editing. So I'm not adding adjustments directly to the actual video itself. Um, anyone that knows Photoshop will be familiar with that. Um, so up on the right hand side here, I have my um, color um, grading effects and all my bits and pieces that I'm gonna be using. And all I literally do is grab an effect and drag it over um, here. Um, I have my, this will this will be filled up with my all my filters um, on the adjustment layer itself. Um, so basically, um, the way that I would start off with um, some green water footage like this is um, firstly, um, I would add a photo filter. Um, uh, the color that I'm gonna be adding um, will be a magenta and just at the density, um, nothing too crazy, just um, at 25%. Um, and what that means is um, basically it sort of just takes that harsh green um, off the, off the um, video straight away. Um, it's something that's, that's quite good to use for um, GoPro footage um, shot in ProTune in green water. You don't really have to do it in the blue water. Um, then after that what I like to do is add an adjustment called curves. So you can just type it in instead of searching for them, you can just type in what you want and um, drag it over here. I just put two points in. Um, curves is essentially um, a histogram line. Um, if, I, if I move a point down here I'm adjusting the, um, the shadows. And if I move the point up the top here, I am adjusting highlights in the image. Um, 
So what I like to do is just um, add a bit of contrast by um, pulling the um, pulling the shadows down a bit, and then also just pulling the highlights up slightly, making a bit of an S bend. Um, and as you can see, it sort of makes it pop a little bit, and um, you, you drop that flat haze that sits on top of the image there. The next thing I'll do after curves is um, a selective color adjustment. Um, anyone that knows Photoshop will be familiar with selective color as well. I drop that into the adjustment layer and uh, what I want to do is select the science. So selective color means that you can uh, adjust uh, the different colors. You have control over the colors uh, selectively. It's kind of all in the name there I guess. So what you want to do is you go down to the science. Um, you don't really need to do this for blue water footage, but you can darken it up a bit and make it look quite nice as well. It's just all to taste, but this is a good sort of starting point, so it shows you what, what you can be doing. So select the cyans, go to the magentas down here, and just drag it up. And you can see what happens is that you lose that green. Um, so you're just turning the greens in the background and the blue and the water there to, to um, a nicer looking blue so I'd normally on really dirty water footage like this I'll set it at about 80% it's a good sort of starting point there um, also what I want to do with this footage here is um, do like a noise reduction um, you can see a lot of the GoPro sort of uh, or uh, sort of promotional videos have a lot of um, really smooth awesome looking sharp footage so you can use an effect called remove grain drag that over and um, it gives you a little preview box um, I'd, I'd rather use uh, I'd rather use um, a full screen preview so what you do here is you go to viewing mode final output and I just let it render for a second and um, I'll just zoom out slightly. Um, what you can see here is that um, if I turn it on and off, um, you can probably see um, all of the grain being um, removed. It's actually pulling all the noise out. Um, it's a little bit overkill because we're actually um, losing um, information um, up in the turtle shell here. So I'll just find a better um, bit to work with here. That's a lot better. So, so with this effect what you want to do is, um, there's two things you need to do, you go to noise reduction settings, open the little drop tab, noise reduction is, uh, you, go, you want to pull that back to about, just to taste really, I'll just see how it's going to look, um, passes 3 is fine, um, for me I think about 0.5. 2.5 on the noise reduction and that sort of cleaned it up quite a lot so if I if you can see it on and off there you can just see that sort of background haze being removed a bit um, we're zoomed into 400% so it's not like it's gonna you know it's just it's just gonna look nicer when you're looking at it in full res also you can go down and you do a bit of sharpening so remove grain actually has an inbuilt um, sharpening tool called Unsharp Mask. Um, the radius uh, 1 is fine, the amount um, 0 0.35 is, is normally quite good for this and what it does is it just, you can see it sharpening all the edges so it, it, it kind of just makes it pop a little bit. I don't know if you see it very well in this video but um, you can just play around with it if you like um, and it, what it does is it just gives you uh, just less noise in the water and um, it just everything just looks a bit cleaner and, it, and it's, everything's a bit sharper as well. So after the removed grain what I like to do um, is add a bit of vibrance, add a bit of colour vibrance. Um, 15 on the vibrance, 15 on saturation and what you can see here is um, the colours I just it's, it's, it's all in the name, the color, the color is a lot more vibrant when I put it on. So there's off, it looks a bit dull and then when you put it on there it's popping a bit more. 
Um, you don't want to go to too overboard with it because you can make things look a bit, uh, um, you can get artifacts in the water and it, it looks a bit hazy and gross. Um, it's not really the best footage to work with. You can see the, the, the sun's in the background there shining on the turtle and, and, and you have shadows all through here. And it's, um, it, there's a, a lot of dynamic range in it. The camera's doing a really good job of picking everything up, especially for a little camera shooting at f2.8. The depth of field's really nice and it looks good. Um, so yeah, after that what I do is um, I'd add another selective color. And with this selective color here, I'm going to do what we did before again. Go to the cyan's and bring the magentas up to 30 this time. And you can see now that the, uh, the blue in the water is starting to look really nice. I'll just let it render out. It takes a little while sometimes. There you go. So the blue's um, really coming through there now. And also what I want to do is um, I want to go to the greens, um, my greens are um, in the reef here, and I will want to pull the cyan's back to about minus 40. Um, this, is, this is not the best in this footage, but it's a really nice thing to do in um, footage past 10 meters because um, basically you're bringing the red disappears at depth back into the reef, and it helps separate the reef from the, um, from the water behind. So it's, it's a really cool little uh, trick if you want to make it look a bit, just pop a bit. Um, after that, um, I just want to add a little bit more contrast, nothing serious. So I just, what I do is I, I add something called levels. Um, what levels does is it shows you a histogram of the information um, in the actual um, image that you're looking at. And um, the left hand side of the histogram is the shadow information and the right hand side is the um, highlight information and the, the middle is the midway. Uh, I don't really have much information down, down in the shadows here so I, I just pull the left hand arrow up slightly, not too much, and I'll just pull the, um, the right hand arrow um, back in the tad. Just, you can just do it to taste really, it's what it's all about. You don't really even have to do it, it's just I'm adding a little bit more contrast um, just to show what can sort of be done. Um, and then this one in the middle, that's just all to taste. So uh, you can see it gets really flat and gross, or you can darken it right up. Um, I just like to sort of, I'll just make it pop a bit. So I'm just gonna leave it somewhere about, about here. And um, let it render again. Okay, and now, um, you can see it off and on there, it's really, um, it's really putting, it's really making the footage punch. It's really making the footage punch out a bit. So that's pretty much all I do for some footage like this. It's nothing serious, it's basically just really filthy green water and it looks really, really sort of dirty and cold. And there you go, that's it before I put all the effects on. So yeah, dirty and cold and gross. And, um, you know, if you told someone let's go diving here, they probably wouldn't be too keen, but if you showed them this footage here, they'd be begging you to go. Love, lovely and warm. Nice, so, um, with um, After Effects, um, you, you, there's a few different options. You can render out your footage, so you, you basically, um, you, um, you export it out to the, the, the file kind that you want to use. Um, that's all subjective and it's a whole different ball game. Um, there's a lot of tutorials on the internet about um, what to do with your footage after you've graded it. Um, but I'm not going to go through that at the moment. What we're going to do now is just um, explore this one out and um, I'll play the clip before and after and you can, you can see what, it's, uh, what it looks like um, actually uh, as a video. Um, so, cool. Okay guys, so here's the original footage of the GoPro in ProTune mode. Um, you can see it's really green and, and quite flat. And now here's the, um, the After Effects grading, color grading, um, and as you can see, it looks really, really nice. Um, this turtle's just coming back for a bit of a back rub. Um, I cooked the colors a little bit, just to push the limit so you can see um, what you can actually do and what you can get away with. Um, and it's just really nice to be able to get rid of that green um, sort of look there. 
Uh, remember in the blue water um, you can do similar effects and you can really get it to punch out as well and it looks really, really nice. Okay, cool. So that's the tutorial guys. Um, I hope you learned something from it. Um, if you don't want to use After Effects, remember you've still got the GoPro um, sign form option. Um, and also your, your video editors like Premiere and Final Cut and all the other ones, um, they do have a little bit of like inbuilt color grading software um, um, anyway. So yeah, you can just give that a crap and see if it works for you. Um, you might get a really good result doing it there as well. Um, remember guys, if you have any questions, um, head on over to Aquatic Rehab on Facebook, private message me. Um, I'll try to answer you in good time as long as I don't get flooded by too many questions. And um, also remember, um, I do do grading um, work, so um, if anyone wants to send me footage and they just want me to do all the grading for them, um, that's no drama. Um, feel free to find me through a USB and I can give you a quote on that and sort of show you how I can make it look. Okay guys, so if you learned something here, uh, remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, feel free to share um, this information as well. And um, I hope you hope you enjoyed it. So we'll see you in the next episode.